Argon is an inert gas used in arc welding and cutting. Argon protects the weld area from oxygen and water vapor because it is unreactive. Argon is one of several noble gases, all of which are unreactive. Noble gases are unreactive because they have stable electron configurations, unlike other elements. The noble gas argon has eight electrons in its outer shell. This full outer shell means that the argon atom is stable and unreactive, as with other noble gases. This number of electrons in a stable outer shell leads to the octet rule. The octet rule is a chemical rule of thumb, so it doesn't always apply. But in general, the octet rule means the atoms of main group elements tend to combine so that each atom has eight electrons in its outer shell. This number of electrons giving the atoms in a molecule the same configuration as a noble gas. Most elements have unstable electron configurations. These elements will react to lose or gain electrons so that they have the same electron configuration as the nearest noble gas. How do we know which elements follow the octet rule? The periodic table is arranged into rows called periods. The columns are called groups. The groups indicate an element's key characteristics and whether it will follow the octet rule. Elements in groups 1 and 2 and 13 through 18 follow the octet rule in that they try to get 8 electrons in their outer shell. Elements in group 1 have 1 electron in their outer shell, like lithium. Elements in group 2 have 2, like magnesium. Elements in group 13 have 3, like aluminum. Elements in group 14 have 4 electrons in their outer shell, and so on. Sodium and chlorine, which are in the same period as the noble gas argon, both follow the octet rule. That is, both elements react so they have 8 electrons in their outer shell. This is why sodium and chlorine, even though they are highly reactive, react to form a stable ionic compound. Sodium donates its electron to chlorine. The reaction creates a stable molecule of sodium chloride or table salt. When this happens, the atoms of sodium and chlorine ionize. They form ions. An ion is an atom or molecule with a net charge because it has lost or gained one or more electrons. The atom becomes charged because the number of electrons no longer equals the number of protons. Lewis dot diagrams are another visually useful way to understand the octet rule. Sodium has one electron in its outer shell, represented here by a dot. The seven dots around chlorine represent its seven valence electrons, with one spot to fill to have a full outer shell. When sodium and chlorine combine, the atoms become stable and also have a charge. However, not all elements follow the octet rule. Hydrogen, for example, is in the same period as helium. It therefore reaches stability with only two electrons in its outermost shell. This is what happens when hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water. Although hydrogen does not follow the octet rule, oxygen does. Quite a number of other elements, especially those with higher atomic numbers, do not always follow the octet rule. However, elements and molecules we deal with in everyday life and in chemistry class usually follow the octet rule. You can think of chemistry as all the elements trying to achieve the same number of valence electrons as the noble gases. This tendency is reflected in the periodic table and is why the octet rule is an important principle of chemistry.